whole process probably still gonna take four years, like five years to finalize all the core rulings. But uh, I'm very confident about, I have confidence about eventually the majority of the crypto ministry projects will win their lawsuits against SEC. Uh, and I believe SEC has no ground um, on most of the case to charge those crypto uh, for the things they are doing. Uh, and also I have confidence Coinbase will also eventually uh, win their case because SEC charged them mass. I think that the trend is kind of the network that gets the most benefits from the stable coins. Yes. Uh, and there is also some some critics that stable coins are making the world dominant uh, dollar dominance get grower because for, for now Korea has even got some USDs. USDT is kind of dollars than USDCs. Yes. What do you think about the stable coins future? Do you think there will be more stable coins like the stable VN or stable KW? Yes. And the about the dollar dominance? Do you think yes. it will get bigger yes. in the future with yes. the crypto? Yes. Um as a one of the most important infrastructure for stable coin, we definitely encourage um diversified future. So um because like decentralization is the the key for crypto, right? Yeah. So so that's why uh, we are always, you know, try to um, uh, uh, advocate for diversify stable coin. Besides uh, USDT, uh, for Tron Network, we collaborate with uh, USDC, um, Circle, and uh, TUSD, uh, uh, the network firm, um, on um, different stable coins, right? We also collaborate with USDD, uh, USDJ, uh, which is completely uh, a decentralized stable coin, right? Um, like like Dai uh, based stable coin uh, is a decentralized stable coin uh, algorithm and uh, uh, over collateralized stable coin base. So that's like uh, our current stable coin uh, um, stable coin efforts. Uh, we also collaborate with Tether on um, TCNH. It's a, a RMB based, uh, RMB based, uh, you know, Chinese yuan uh, based stable coin. And also, we are recently talking to lots of the issuer um, with decentralized euro, decentralized. Oh, sorry. Uh, Euro stable coin, uh, Japanese yen stable coin, KRW stable coin. So we uh, and also Hong Kong dollar stable coin, right? So uh, eventually, uh, we want to have like uh, a diversified uh, stable coin future. Mm -hmm. I see. I think that's kind of the reason that the Tron performance is kind of better than the other network. Yes. I saw that the Tron has been showing the consistent rise last yes, year, right? Yes, yes. I think it is right below the Bitcoin, right? Yes, yes. Do you think what's the reason that the investors are yes. participating in the drone? Yes. Um, so first of all, uh, even last year is, uh, this year is a bearish market. But actually, Tron is the number one perform token uh, in this year. So not like, um, pumping like a big uh, percentage, but Tron is very stable. Um, so I think year uh, end to end, you know, Bitcoin go down from 60K to around uh, 25K today. It's more like a 60% go down. Um, but TRX uh, is go down from, I think, uh, um, um, point, 0.13 cents, um, uh, which is um, uh, uh, last year, to around right now is like eight cents. Uh, it's all U.S. dollars. Okay, um, eight cents U.S. dollars. Um, so so basically, it's around 
only 50% uh, 50% uh, go down so so that's why Tron is perform even better than Bitcoin one of the reason is I, I believe is the usage of the network um, get growth gradually so that's why if you um, you are checking the data of Tron network on chain you will be super bullish about Tron network because the usage is getting more and more like every single day um, the people using the network is getting more and more uh, and also the transaction volume is getting more and more of course it's result in um, the protocol revenue and it's getting higher like every day yeah. I, I saw that yes. it reaches around 100 and less yes sector right yes 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 so so that's why I think TRX today is uh, is very promising uh, and I I, I, I I think it's uh, never too late to invest into TRX <laughs> yeah, I, I think that TRX investors are kind of investing in the Tron because of kind of statics yes. or the data yes not for only for the futures yes 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 and how about the regular issues for now I think it is obvious that what makes the market today is yes. the regulations, right? Yes. About the Ripple, XCC, and yes. the Bitcoin ETFs. Yes. Uh, what do you think about the this year's the regulation forecast? Yes. Do you think the XRP will be admitted as the kind of the asset, and yes. the Bitcoin ETF will be yes. onboarding? Yes. So first of all, I believe uh, SEC's approach against uh, cryptocurrency, uh, of course, is too aggressive. So they, right now, they they already start to see the backlash um, with those actions, right? Uh, even court won't support those actions. So that's why we see um, um, as both XRP and the Grayscale has win the legal action um, um, not like a big win but uh, we already have small win in those who are um, ruling the uh, ruling the uh, judge make those rulings right um, as as my understanding of the US ju judiciary system um, the whole process of the lawsuits will come a very long time so so that's why I don't expect it we will have like a final win in a very short period of time. Um, I think the overall process probably still gonna take four years, like five years to finalize all the core rulings. But uh, I'm very confident about, I have confidence about eventually the majority of the crypto ministry projects will win their lawsuits against SEC. Uh, and I believe SEC has no ground um, on most of the case to charge those crypto uh, for the things they are doing. Uh, and also I have confidence Coinbase will also eventually uh, win their case because SEC charged them as well. Uh, I will win their case. Um, so that's why I'm confident for the results. But still, I think for the timetable wise, we are still um, gonna take quite some time to get there. Um, in those period of time, I think we can be patient and build in Korea, <laughs> Japan, right? Those like uh, crypto friendly region. Uh, and the US has lots of the uh, uh, variables, right? Because US presidential election, right? the chairman of the SEC might get changed, right? There's lots of things might change in the future, right? Uh, 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 because US regulatory change to work very hostile against crypto only recent two years, right? So that's why I think five years is a very long time. We will see lots of things change in the next five years. Uh, you are, I think you are kind of promising about the cryptos will be adapted by the government, right? Yeah. Um, yes. Yeah. 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 But about the payment, it is kind of bad things for the US government because if people start using TRX for their payment, yeah. they are not going to use the USD for yeah. the payment. Yeah. You still think that, that they will get their 
dollar governance to go away with the crypto? Yes. So first of all, I think government, um, in terms of the dialogue between the government, I think most of the government, because they are not like uh, uh, companies, right? So the way of their thinking uh, is, is less than uh, uh, who is making money in the payment solution space. Because right now, like MasterCard, you know, Visa, like PayPal, like Stripe is making money anyway, right? So I think what they are care about is more like how to comply with the KYC, AML, source of fund, you know, standards to prevent like bad actor from like laundry their money um, to basically uh, to to escape from justice. Um, so I think that's like what they really care about. Um, so for for this, we have also have lots of solutions. Uh, actually, that's what I always advocate for regulators. Uh, actually, Bitcoin and the blockchain, oh, also of course Trump, is good for KYC, AML, and uh, source of fund um, because all the money is is traceable on chain, right? So as long as you have a very powerful tools, right now is for example like chain analysis, right? Integrate into Tron uh, and uh, uh, elliptic, right? Lots of uh, analytic um, software can help government to identify suspicious transaction, uh, suspicious um, uh, um, activity happen on chain, uh, detect them, and also uh, seize those assets by uh, exchange, right? So uh, I know, for example, like Binance already, uh, also Huobi as well, we help uh, uh, FBI, you know, to seize uh, bank accounts, oh sorry, bank, not, not bank accounts, exchange accounts from Lazar Group, which is a North Korea, you know, yeah. uh, hack group. Um, so, so that's why I think we already have lots of the good uh, case for um, compliance, collaboration, uh, on how blockchain can actually, actually benefits the regulators uh, in terms of against like money laundry like uh, AML, right? Imagine if like North Korea is laundering money using cash, <laughs> US dollar cash, it's gonna be extremely hard for FBI or anyone in the world to catch them in the first place. Um, so, 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 so that's why I think blockchain actually contribute a lot. Uh, in terms of the like money laundry, you know, AML in the first place. I, I see. Yes. The the companies are kind of making government section as their own, but they still work when they are following their government guidelines or that kind of things. Uh, recently, the Hong Kong established the cryptocurrency guideline, right? Yes. I think you see a significant changes there. Yes. And market also think that the Chinese money that came to the crypto market, it will make another bull market yes. of the next one. Yes. What do you think about the Chinese climate, that kind of things? Yes. Yeah, Yeah, I definitely am bullish about Chinese markets. Uh, we see um, in 2021, China have this kind of the crypto ban, mm -hmm. right, for mining as well. So lots of the miners migrate their business outside of China. But I think after the pandemic, uh, and also uh, Hong Kong lose lots of business because of the um, national security law, right? So to Singapore, right? Uh, that's why I think Hong Kong talk to the central government of China, uh, get their approval uh, in terms of crypto trading, uh, launch crypto trading platform. So that's why we see uh, Hong Kong has this kind of the, um, crypto license and also crypto guidelines for for developers. Uh, Huobi is the one who is applying for a Hong Kong crypto license and uh, uh, which is of course I think big things in China because lots of the Chinese people have Hong Kong bank accounts you know they also uh, live in Hong Kong so um, so that's why um, this is important for I think uh, everyone 
uh, in the space because if we can build a very big gateways for for Chinese money and Hong Kong money to get into crypto space in a compliance way this is what happened in Korea right so if you, you have banking channel uh, banking level of the uh, channel for cryptocurrency it will be big for the for the whole industry yeah, yeah. I think it's the, it will get better yes. right yes so this is my last one yes um, is there any questions that you want to answer? Yes, yes. Uh, I think I want you to talk a little bit about uh, our future plan for Korea. Mm, yes. About Trump. Yeah, right. Trump uh, will be in Korea. Uh -huh. yeah. Yes, for I think for uh, Korea is one of the most important uh, user base uh, and also community in uh, uh, in Asia and even in the world. So for us, we are planning to invest more money and the manpower resources in Korea. Uh, this is my actually the first time after like five years like pandemic after all the pandemic I personally uh, in Korea. But in the future, I think we will host more events, uh, more community meetups, uh, hack hackathon events, uh, and a, a builder tour uh, in uh, Korea. And for myself, I will come to Korea more in the future to further uh, boost Chuang and Hobi uh, uh, developer ecosystem in Korea. Mm -hmm. um, I think it is kind of similar that each exchanges are providing the similar services, right? Yes. The futures or yes. the spot trading. Yes. What do you think that some exchanges make their own market governance or traffic making more customers yes. in the future yes how how the exchanges can do yes. that kind of things yeah. yes um i think for hobby mainly our target right now to korea is uh, for korea projects so uh, i think korea has lots of projects um sometimes because the reason uh, they can't list it in korea mm -hmm. for for like for example like Wimix, right it's mm -hmm. a one example so, but I think we will um, definitely see how we can collaborate with the uh, Korean um, projects uh, mm -hmm. to help them get listed uh, on, uh, on the international exchange. Because Hobby Exchange itself uh, doesn't operate in Korea. Mm -hmm. so, um, so, so, so that's why for exchange business, we are more interested in uh, Korean projects and the developers to help them list it. Mm 